Good afternoon, this is your local news. Police in Bury St Edmunds are certain for a man who has been walking down a busy road whilst carrying a car tyre. Detective Inspector McMitchellan said the man should not be approached as he could be dangerous, deluded and not a tyre fitter. The President of the Royal Society for the Care and Protection of Tyres, a Mr Ruby Rubber, said the man had every right to be carrying a tyre because it's a very enjoyable thing to do, even if it is rather heavy. Police spokesman Connor Continental said the police would be stepping up their patrols in the area where the man was seen carrying the tyre in a desperate attempt to catch him before any more tyres are flattened. Anyone with information is strongly advised to call the Islamic State rubber hotline where all calls to be answered by must have a grip and must have a tread. Two little old grannies who saw the man carrying the tyre immediately fainted and had to be treated in hospital by Dr. Brian Bridgestone. When told of his name, the two little old grannies fainted once more and were urgently treated and cared for by the renowned German specialist. Dr. Wilhelm von Pupp von Flattentire. The police are working on the theory that the man could have been taking the tire to the nearest tire fitter to get a puncture urgently repaired. As police believe the tire he was carrying did look slightly flat. The police are extremely concerned that the man could drop the tire on someone's toes, which could obviously cause a possible serious injury. Hence their willingness to capture the man before anyone ends up in hospital. Everyone who works at local tyre centres have been questioned, but nothing of particular interest has been discovered during the interrogations. Detective Inspector Mick Mitchellan said that the whole police force are feeling as flat as a tyre and are attempting to get a grip of the situation. The prime suspect at this moment in time happens to be none other than a Mr. Bubba Rubber. And he lives at one tyre terrace, Pump Up Place, Flat Flats, Robberington. If arrested and convicted, he may have to go on a tyre awareness course and check the tyre presses of every car in the town, even if the weather is freezing. The judge, a Mrs. Penny Pirelli, ordered Mr. Bubba Rubber to pay £1,000 each in compensation to the two little old grannies, who are recovering at a care home situated right next to a tyre fitting centre. The police are delighted this sad and sorry case is finally closed. They concentrate on more serious crimes and arresting real criminals, such as people who can't change a tyre and people who are always losing grip. I'll be back in 30 minutes for another update. Bye for now.